Belgian Violin School and welcome to the fourth episode of the Quest for the Holy Belgian Violin School. In this episode, we go back to the roots with Charles Auguste de Berriot. You can see him right behind me. De Berriot was born in 1802 in a noble family in Leuven. He got his first violin lessons from Jean-François Tibi, a student of Fiotti. And Tibi also became de Berriot's guardian after the early death of his parents. When he was 19, he went to Paris to study at the Paris Conservatory with Pierre Bayot, but the two didn't get along very well. Bayot did not like de Berriot's eccentric style of playing, so de Berriot said farewell after only a few months. He travelled through uh, Belgium, the Netherlands, France to give concerts, before becoming in 1824 a uh, court finalist of King Charles X of France. Three years later, he earned the title of Chamber Virtuoso of King William I of the Netherlands. In the same year, in 1827, de Berriot met for the first time Maria de la Felicidad Garcia, a world-famous mezzo-soprano known better under the name of her husband at the time, Malitran. They traveled through France, Belgium, Italy to give concerts together. They fell in love and in 1836, La Malibran divorced her husband and married the Berio. But their luck didn't last very long because the same year, La Malibran died after falling from a horse. The Berio withdraw from concert life to take care of their son, Charles Wilfried, and this period of not giving concerts actually took quite a few months, even a few years. He remarried in 1840 and settled with his new wife in Brussels. He didn't went on a lot of concert tours anymore. He gave mainly concerts in Belgium and played a lot of chamber music at his, home, at his own house sorry, with the ensemble Cercle des Arts that he founded himself. In 1842, the Berio was offered the succession of Bayot at the Paris Conservatory and in the same year a similar position at the Brussels Conservatory. He chose to stay in Belgium. He began teaching at the Brussels Conservatory and founded a flourishing violin school. His most important pupils were Henri Vieuxtemps, of course, Hubert Leonard and Heinrich Willem Ernst. In 1852, the Berriot had to resign at the conservatory because of a serious eye illness. Six years later, he was completely blind, but did, didn't, this didn't stop him to keep on giving concerts. It was only in 1866 that he had to stop his career as a concert violinist because of a paralysis in his left arm. Four years later, in 1870, he died and was buried in Lac. De Berio is considered as one of the greatest violinists from his era, as I already mentioned, as one of the founding fathers of the Belgian school of violin playing, and he combined the virtuoso style of Paganini with some typical characteristics of the French school of violin playing, such as grace, elegance, pure intonation and a lot of precision. As for his compositions, he wrote mainly for the violin, he wrote 10 violin concert, concertos, numerous series of variations on famous opera themes for violin and piano, and a lot of books of studies or études for the violin. And it's from one of these books, the Etudes Opus 109, that I play for you today, the polka. Enjoy!
watching these episodes. I will see you again in two weeks when I have a special surprise for you that I'm not going to spoil yet. If you liked the video, please do like, share and subscribe. And I see you again next time. Ciao!